A Visit from St Nicholas by Clement Clark Moore Starring Clopton and Chevelle And anyone else they could rope in. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. In hope that St Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled or snug in their beds. While visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the lustre of midday to the objects below. When what to my wandering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer and a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, their courses they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Cornet, on Cupid, on Dunder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So to the top of the housetops their courses they flew, a sleigh full of toys, and St Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof a prancing and pouring of each little hoof as I drew in my head and was turning around, turning around, down the chimney St Nicholas came with a bound. All dressed in fur from his head to his foot, his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back stopped fighting and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples so merry. His cheeks were like roses. His cheeks were like roses. Thank you. His nose like a cherry. Very resourceful. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. A stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, the smoke it encircled, his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Like a bowl full of jelly. Thank you. 
He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprung to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of the thistle. That's it, away they all flew like the down of the thistle. But I heard him exclaim, oh, he drove out of sight, happy Christmas to all. And to all, good night. Have you got your signs? That's it. Merry Christmas. And from socks everywhere, thank you. People can see you, you know. Behave.